Scotland while they're taking new precautions after the sudden death of a student from Howard County. She contracted a serious strain of the adenovirus, which can cause a range of symptoms from sore throat to pneumonia and pink eye. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live on the College Park campus with what you should know. Mike. Rick and Mary, uh, this student thought she was doing everything right. She stopped by the health center here several times, presented her symptoms. She should be home with her family for Thanksgiving this week. Instead, they're preparing to bury her. How does one do when they lose a child? It's not good. It's the worst pain that any parent can even contemplate. Ian Paragol says his daughter Olivia came home to Howard County from the University of Maryland College Park, feeling sick at the end of October. The freshman's condition worsened, and she ultimately died at Johns Hopkins Hospital of complications from adenovirus. I'm trying to do the right thing by making sure people know that they need to get their kids checked out. They could have something very serious going on that will affect them like a runaway train. The University of Maryland has confirmed an adenovirus outbreak on campus, at least six cases. Health Director Dr. David McBride in his first interview since Olivia's death. We're grieving along with Olivia's family and our thoughts go out to her and um, to them. He actually did make the call over to the Hopkins ICU to try and solve the mystery of what was Olivia suffering from. The problem I have is that information would have been much more helpful two weeks ago. Adenoviruses can cause the common cold and present similar symptoms. But at the University of Maryland, one of the cases was confirmed as adenovirus 7, an especially serious strain that killed 11 people during another recent outbreak at a New Jersey rehabilitation center. Parents and families are, are scared about the situation, and that's perfectly reasonable when you send your student off to school. Olivia Paragol had a compromised immune system because of her Crohn's disease, which made her especially vulnerable. While we want to acknowledge that there are cases on campus, we don't necessarily want to stir up unnecessary angst. Now, Olivia lived in a dorm on campus that had a terrible mold problem, and her father believes that contributed to her illness. The school says there's no direct link. Live at the University of Maryland College Park, Mike Helgren, WJZ.